Hi everyone, welcome back to the Building the IT Guy channel. Uh, today, uh, do you want to know how to assign a public IP address in a Google Cloud Server? Let's move on to it. Let me tell you to understand the fundamental, which is like uh, why you should have to ask why we need a public IP address for any server or any cloud instance. Let's say in our traditional way, we have to purchase a public IP address from the internet service provider and then it mapped to your internal firewall and then firewall you make a policy with the IP mapping from the private IP address which is your server IP local server IP and then you map with the public server IP so that you can able to access from external anywhere of the world like you know from there to your web application so let's see now it's very easy simple no need to have a hassle purchasing from ISP and then do making a firewall policy to work here to map the public private IP to the public so let's say now we're gonna do it uh, from the Google cloud interface it's a pretty simple things just we're gonna go gonna walk through that part first let's access the Google cloud by typing cloud dot sorry console dot cloud dot google dot com and just go to your computer engine let me check which is a uh, which is I have already created instance 1 and instance 2 which is in two different zones if you see the internal IP these are and we are going to associate this instance with one of the external IP currently it is in offline uh, for that we have to go to the VPC which is if you just type uh, search VPC VPC network just go there and here I have created a custom subnet domain which is like which you see uh, instant phones a private internal IP is something like this uh, but for is creating just click IP address addresses and from here by clicking reserve external static IP address uh, you have to give the name for reserving all should be uh, low caps app1 and then it's it's just based on the pricing it's a current project I'm going to have a premium IPv4 and I'm not going to do anything with this region and attach to instance one which is the one and click reserve once it is created and let me you see this one the static yeah successfully it's created uh, 34.173.241.171 which is the reserved IP address for ours which is the public IP address for this instance so let's go back to the instance uh, by clicking this instance we, we need to just assign that static public IP address to this instance let's do this once you enter to the instance one or whatever the instance you have like simply click edit from here we're gonna assign uh, IP address go back to the now once you see in this instant setting configuration we have to verify the network the interface in network interface these are the custom subdomain sorry sub net uh, we created for this instance to uh, use and here the IP stack is which is a custom and we assign this is the range of local which is the pri private IP address and if you look at this below external IP address which is app one you remember which we created uh, the reserved public IP address it's by default once you see it is there because since we attached in earlier remember uh, this instance which is the if you see the instance uh, region which should be the zone should be the same once you created the public IP address if it is mismatch we can't able to assign uh, the, the external IP address to this instance I hope this helps you little bit to understand about the public IP address in cloud and how we can attach to one of the instance in Google Cloud platform stay tuned for the next video thank you for watching and share and subscribe to our new upcoming videos in earlier and future thank you